I stand Struthers do affirm over his 21-year career in the Manitoba legislature, Stan Struthers was known for being affable and friendly, but his former press secretary says he was also known for something else. Some of us started referring to him as Minister Tickles. Joelle saltel allard is one of seven women who have told CBC Struthers inappropriately tickled and touched them. We were driving um, down the highway and he would, he would put his hand on my, on my thigh. And when she complained to her superiors, the response bitterly disappointed her. Basically, to shut up. Another communication staffer had a similar experience. He began asking me if I was ticklish, and I said no, and um, he immediately began attempting to grope me. A few months later, a second encounter. He sat down across from me, and he grabbed my foot and pulled it towards his crotch. When she finally complained, a familiar result. Nothing. The NDP confirmed it has never investigated any complaint against Struthers. Its current leader only learned of the details from us. A former female cabinet minister is... Has also come forward to us. Wow. I wasn't aware of that. Today, that awareness forced Wab Canoe to call a press conference. As I reflect on what's being reported and what these stories are all about, that our party deserved to lose the last election. And announce a party commission, an investigation into these allegations. To answer, what the heck happened? It's an open secret. Community activist Karen Peters says Struthers tickled her countless times. She says it was no laughing matter. It's about power, um, being tickled. But it comes into your personal space and it ignores your, your, um, your validity as a person to control your personal space. But now the women say they are reclaiming their power. I don't have skeletons in my closet. Stan Struthers has skeletons in his closet. And um, the, the women who are affected shouldn't be ashamed. In a statement, Stan Struthers didn't deny any of the allegations about what happened during his time here at the legislature. He apologized for any interactions which might have been inappropriate or made someone feel disrespected or uncomfortable. And he vowed to learn from this and do better. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Winnipeg.